All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, I don't know if you, you might be able to hear it in the background. We've got our 2000 watt Red Sabre running. Um, and this unit, instead of uh, the previous videos we had done had a single scan gun, uh, this one is running our dual scan gun. The reason it's called a dual scan is because it can actually scan in two dimensions. So it's got two reflective mirrors that are what's controlling the beam and where it scans. The single scan gun has one, so it just scans in one dimension, basically side to side. The dual scan gun <coughs> has two of those reflective mirrors, so it can go fore and aft and side to side. So we have an X and Y axis. So it, uh, it'll actually do like your different laser shapes, like a D shape, an hourglass shape. We'll show it to you on the controller in a second. But yeah, a lot more powerful on the welding side as far as being able to control the way the laser scans, how fast it scans. So you can really fine tune uh, if you're doing gaps, um, if you're doing multiple passes, especially like right now, we're gonna run some aluminum, but uh, just a lot more control over the scan. So I thought it'd be good to make a video, show you guys how to run this gun, how to set it up. And there are some really unique features to this gun that, uh, that make it a little bit special. So let's check out the control panel real quick, and then we'll get to welding as soon as we can. So here's the control panel. So it's just like the, uh, the other panel. The, the menu itself is different, but the actual screen is the same as the, the single scan gun. Just a little bit different programming to it. So when we first turn this machine on, you're gonna have your fillings. That's your, your actual wire, you know, wire. You have a solenoid here for your gas, so you can check your gas. And then this FGAP, that's what's actually gonna arm your laser. So right now, when we first turn the gun on or the machine on, the gun is not armed, so it will not fire until you hit that, that FGAP button. And then you'll see as, as we touch down to the table, we get that connect. That shows us that we are getting continuity and that we're ready to fire. One of the really nice things with this programmer is it does have, well, you know, like we have in our MIG and TIG machines, the power set mode. This programmer has a power set mode. So you basically select, you select your material, whether it's stainless, carbon steel, aluminum. It's got a bunch of different programs on it. We'll select aluminum. Then you come down and you can select your thickness. Now, as you select your thickness, it'll change the settings in the background. You can go over and look at them by hitting this edit tab. That'll show you what your settings are, whether it's your actual laser shape, which that's what that is. So we can press on that. We can see all of our different laser shapes. So the programming is selecting the triangle wave shape or scan shape for us at 12 Hertz at a 2.6 millimeter wide scan, 43% power, 3000 Hertz duty cycle is always going to be hundred percent. So we've got eighth inch material for this test. So let's go ahead and go back. Now we've got 3.0 and 3.5, we're gonna go 3.5. Eighth inch is technically like 3.2, 3.3 millimeters. So we'll go 3.5. We can go back to this edit page. And now you can see it's changed everything in the menu for us. So we're at 87% power now. Instead of that triangle, we're now running, we're now running that D shape. And we've gone down on our frequency and our scan width has increased. This is the, the setting for the, the actual laser output. We still have our wire feeder that we need to set up. And right now we're running 045, 4943 aluminum wire. And we've got it set to 80 centimeters a minute feed speed. So just using the base programming, let's go ahead. We've already got a coupon tacked up. We'll make a couple runs real quick and show you how this thing runs. And then we'll go back and play with some of the settings and show you how those affect the actual laser beam. All right, now before we make this run, just as a reminder, you know, I've got my camera guy. He's wearing a set of laser rated safety glasses. So these are rated for the laser output, the wavelength. So he's protected. We are in a locked building. We're the only two in here. The door is locked. I've got a solid barrier up on the back side of the camera. So even if somebody were to come in, they can't be hit by the laser. Obviously, behind us is a solid barrier. We're gonna be wearing gloves, full sleeves. This is actually a, a laser rated auto darkening hood that we're gonna have available. By the time you see this video, we should have them in the warehouse and ready to ship. But with the laser, always make sure to take all the safety precautions. So we've already got this plate tacked up. We're running the 
call it the power set mode on the laser, running 80 centimeters a minute wire feed speed. So let's go ahead and make a run real quick and then we'll start playing with the settings, kind of show you what this, uh, this dual scan gun has to offer. So obviously with the laser, it runs pretty fast. Let's go ahead and we can get a little bit of a close up on, on that weld itself and we'll have some still frames of it. <clears throat> but the nice thing with this, uh, this dual scan gun, we can really slow down that scan speed and that shape and we can really get a nice, um, a nice bead profile. So we can get a little bit of a ripple into it we're not playing with any of the laser pulse or the, the wire pulse where we could get a little bit chunkier like a micro TIG bead. We're just pretty much running this thing on a, as easy as possible mode to set up. So, but yeah, super fast. We got a little bit of sooting there. We could probably back our focal length in just a touch. Um, so let's go ahead and do that just to show you guys how to set up your focal length. So with this one, it's a lot easier than with your, our single scan gun. So we're gonna loosen this lock ring up right here. We're gonna go a full turn in. We can go ahead and make sure we're nice and square. Spin our lock ring back down, tighten it up. Now when we do that, we're gonna have to adjust our wire nozzle here. So we can loosen up this thumb screw, slide it back a little bit, get that length reset. Tighten it back up and now we're good. I'm gonna poke a little wire out because I did bend it, putting it back in there. Give it a little trim. Now we're good to go again. <clears throat> so before we make another run, let's come over here to the control panel. We're gonna make a couple changes and show you how that affects our bead. All right, so now we're over the control panel. So what we're gonna do, let's change, let's change up a few things. So let's go ahead and select our scan shape. We're gonna go to this hourglass shape. Let's go up to eight Hertz. And then let's increase our scan width to four millimeters. So all we're doing is play, we're not playing with the power. We're just playing with how fast it, the laser is scanning and the shape that it's scanning. And we're going a little bit wider. So let's tack up another piece. We'll make another run right here. All right, so let's go ahead and make this run. So there we go. We can see between that first run where we had the focal tube out just a little bit, we do have some more sooting. We made that second run, we made a slight focal tube adjustment where we brought it in because we saw that sooting. It really cleaned up the sooting and we can see a little bit of a bead appearance difference between these two just by changing the, the actual shape and the speed that it's scanning that shape. So you have a lot more control over uh, kind of your bead appearance. And really what that, that scan does is we can control our dwell time, like if we have a gap, or like a fillet weld, then we want the scan to really tie into the toes of those plates better. We can slow it down or we can change the shape and get a little more dwell time across the toes of the weld and really help them sink in a little bit deeper. So let's go ahead, let's run a butt weld real quick. Uh, one of the things that's come up recently when we're making this video is uh, there's been a couple of channels that have said that the lasers don't penetrate very well you can't get penetration with them. So I said, we're using the, the standard programming that the laser tells us to use on eighth inch material. Let's go ahead and tack up another plate and let's make another quick run and we'll show you how well this thing penetrates eighth inch aluminum.
I'm going to go ahead and grab my pliers because that aluminum does get a little hot to hold with your fingers. So I was a little fast right off the start, but you can see we've got full penetration. It actually stuck itself to the copper a little bit. We've got full penetration through this joint, tight butt weld, no gap, no prep, and we've got really full penetration other than the start where I was moving a little bit fast, but that's technique. But yeah, there we go. Get you a little closer look. So definitely lasers will get full penetration. You just have to set them up right. Or with this one, it sets it up right for you. <clears throat> but proper setup with like any other process, uh, that's going to be the, the biggest key factor. Um, one thing that's nice with the laser too, you know, we, we went over that, uh, this, you know, four inch coupon extremely fast. Maybe we'd have to check the exact time code, but it might be eight seconds, 10 seconds that we made that weld. Um, if we did have a, like a thicker piece that we wanted to run multiple passes on, like an outside corner, something like that, um, to make multiple passes with the laser, it's just as easy as like if you're MIG or TIG welding. So we'll go ahead and run another couple passes over this and show you how we can build up that throat. And again, we're not cleaning this in between. Uh, that's kind of the nice thing with the laser. It kind of cleans the material as you're going, so you don't have so much uh, inner pass cleaning that you need to do. So we're going to run right over our first run. There you go. Another, another super clean, fast run. So... The, the laser, especially for aluminum, you know, if you're, you're MIG or TIG welding, it takes a lot of time to get competent with it. Um, and with the laser, we really can reduce that, that skills gap between someone that is just starting out and then kind of a, a master, you know, welder of the material. The laser can really, really shorten that from, you know, months or years of experience needed to really a, a day, two days of training on the laser. And you can have someone that's never welded at all making really good high quality welds on aluminum. All right, so this is a real quick video on the, the dual scan laser gun. So we've had it out for a little bit. Um, we don't have too many people with it, but I did want to make a video kind of showing its usefulness and uh, how you can adjust it. So just not a super in-depth video on this, uh, this episode. We'll dive deeper into it as we go along, you know, start doing some projects with, with both guns so we can see how they work in different situations. But yeah, just a little quick overview, kind of show you how to how the menu works, where to find everything. Uh, but if you, of course, if you have any other questions, I head up the laser department for Everlast. So feel free to reach out to me. My extension on the main line is 223, or you can always find me at jesse, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, at everlastwelders.com if you have any other laser questions. So feel free to reach out. Thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you soon. Have a good one.